Hey y'all, welcome back to 18 Outdoors. Thank y'all for following and subscribing. If you haven't, please follow and subscribe. Uh, we are getting ready to uh, do a little season update here and uh, woods update. You know, season opened last week for parts of Alabama and it's opening and coming up here in a couple of days for the rest of it. And it's uh, got a little rain last night, so everything's looking good. The acorn crops is, you know, Pretty dang good in places, kind of spotty on some, but red oaks and wild oaks and places looking good, so you can kind of play that into your strategy. But uh, first off, we're going to give out a few congratulations, you know, some people that had success. Kathy and I camped, you know, for the weekend. We carried a camper. We had a little bit of generator trouble, and it was hot and miserable, but uh, we uh, we tried it a little bit. I didn't see anything. I think I had something come by me in the evening. It was so thick I could hear something walking, but I never could see it, so but uh, we need to congratulate Talon Neal, young guys. You got the Art of the Hunt pop podcast. It's an Art of the Hunt podcast. You know, sorry about that, Talon. You know, younger guy, he killed his first buck with a bow on public land. You know, nice, look like a two-year-old, you know, pretty buck, good, great buck. Um, better than my first buck with a bow, so congratulations to him. And Jamie McKay, everybody knows who he is. If you don't, look him up. You'll, you'll see. He... He's one of the hardest working, most, I'm talking about most um, incredible, just consistent public land hunter and hunter in Alabama, period. He, he killed a, a doe opening day, first, th first time he's ever done that, or, is September 30th. So, you know, that's kind of, they opened up on a Saturday to make sure everybody get opportunities of people that, that uh, have a five day a week job so and that's that's a good thing that they've done that so that so anyway jamie killed a doe on opening day and then turned around the next weekend he killed a nice eight point i'm talking about 19 half plus inch spread good time length i mean just a beautiful specimen of the buck you know first time he'd ever done kill one that early i'm talking about i mean really <laughs> man you going you might be able to you'll know, get three this year before before too long you know it's, so it's, I mean, it's, that's the possibilities of this year. Uh, congratulations to him. It's a very nice buck. Nobody deserves it more than Jamie. He puts, you know, last year, I think he said he hunted 30 something sits before he killed anything last year. So that's, I mean, he puts his time in, does his homework, does a lot of scouting. He's just, I mean, y'all pay attention to anything he does, any tips he has, you know, pay attention to that. So. Again, we and Kathy went, some more people camped, you know, the Southern Outdoor when they were camped. You know, Jacob Myers was camped, and Michael Pike was, old Dilla, he was camped with us out there. Another thing is, the thing scrapes and rubs. Scrapes and rubs, bucks in the places we've been hunting have been doing it for like two weeks, so. So they're tearing it up. I don't know if it's got something to do with the mass crop being good, and they're fired up, got extra energy, and they've been tearing the woods up, so you can kind of play it into, and I am, I'm gonna play it into my early season strategy is, is, is try to find feeding signs associated with bucks, associated with scrapes and rubs, you know, close to thickets and kind of, and kind of use that because if they're doing that, you know, already, that means, you know, they might be moving a little bit more and you might be able to come up with a decent pattern pretty early. So I'm going to try that as a suggestion that I suggest for y'all is if you're buck hunting, you know, mature buck hunting, whatever you really want to do, try to tie that in with some buck sign, find feeding sign, you know, Sometimes I think the bucks, mature bucks, like the red oaks better. I don't know if it's because they like them better or if they like, or they know that the other deer don't really like them and they they're, don't have much competition for them. So, so I think they might be, you know, doing that. So use the use them rubs and scrapes associated with thickets and feeding sign. I prefer to hunt closer to the beds in the morning or were suspected bed. And when you find, a, you know, scrapes and rubs and feeding sign, kind of look at your maps or kind of look at the area and see where the thicker stuff of that, something that has a bedding advantage for them, a side advantage, you know, or cover advantage, hard background advantage, and play it in where the feeding sign is and try to sneak and, and get in there and set up on them and do it for a couple of times and then probably find try to find something different. I would, you know, and just, Early season, I I jump around a lot if it was me. Just be more mobile, you know. Keep 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 your uh, the sign as fresh as you can, and then I'll change that up a little bit come pre rut and stuff. But it's been it has been a little bit dry, so some of the tops is kind of 
the greenery on the tops that kind of wilted back a little bit, but now we've since we've got some rain last night and, and the day before, it might green back up a fair. So kind of pay attention to that, how the sign could move. They could move, do a level change if it's if some stuff is starting to wilt off. Because remember, you know, deer down here are, are really, they do a lot of browsing. You know, those like might lay up close to acorn trees, but bucks will do a lot of browsing as they're going to the acorns that they're feeding on. So. So kind of pay attention to that, you know, hunting water. I mean, some people have luck doing it. I've never had much luck doing that. It's it's not it's not really been that dry. And I, and I feel like a buck can get a lot of his stuff through the greenery that he eats. So he don't have to, he don't have to go to water as, as much as, as some people would think, you know, and that, that's just my opinion. So anyway, you know, the, 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 the southern part of the state or the rest of the state that's opening, you know, this weekend, their bucks probably still could be bachelors grouped up. So kind of, if they're putting out any sign, you'll be a lot more of it. Be like, cause they'll be kind of competing with each other. You know, you'll have some more whip rubs and stuff like that, smaller rubs so, and, and maybe multiple scrapes. So you can kind of play into that. But again, they're going to be, you know, some of them deer in some, some of the parts of the state will still be in velvet for a little bit. So, so you might look up and give a velvet one, but you know, I've, I would concentrate on some kind of early food source you know, some of the some of the public land stuff they're just now getting through with the planting, or some of them still might be planting a little bit. So, and deer love you know love fresh sprouts. You know, fresh things coming out of the ground. You know, it's, it's a different type of browse. It's tender. It's real palatable for them. So they love that. So, kind of keep that in mind, and 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 you can set up on that. You know, uh, evening hunting to me in early season is more is more you know feasible to me. So it's it's just I just I just see more stuff then so than the morning hunt because generally especially mature bucks they've already they've already got back in the bed in the morning I mean you can try it you know and midday you break it up midday stuff some when it's cooler because uh deer are already had getting a lot of pressure in some of the places like where we hunt at so they kind of changing some of their patterns up they might move a little bit more midday so so kind of break it up you know stay on them hot food sources stay on the fresher sign keep jumping around stay mobile you know y'all be safe and uh i'll try to give you all another update here in a couple of weeks and uh if you do get a deer carry it on the weaver's meat process and y'all y'all know that's who we use and we've been using them forever so take your deer to them they'll, they'll fix you up with some, some good a variety of different kind of meats they've got a multiple i mean a big option for their owner menu so y'all y'all try them out and if you haven't if you already using them you know keep keep them going because they, they're building a new building and trying to expand because they killed i mean they took care of several thousand there last year but y'all keep them in mind and then uh good luck gotta get them flat and uh we'll see y'all next video thank y'all for watching this video hey we appreciate y'all y'all support hey you don't care if you haven't got a book yet amazon get a book we got hard copies now available it took me a while to get them Wait a minute, but hey, they're on there now. Again, we appreciate it. Appreciate everybody's hard work that helped us to get this done, you know, you know, lifetime achievement. So hey, anyway, you can get one. And uh, thanks again for your support. Subscribe, like, tell your friends, and uh, we'll keep coming up with these videos. So we'll see y'all on the next one.